do. And so I just represent like I'm not just a fucking agile coach or scrum master because I apply this kind of real adjective of being agile not to adapt to the fucking VUCA, but to destroy the VUCA and creating something good with love. And yes, I sound impatient sometimes and I know I should be put more love in my approach, but it's because I'm so impatient of the masses that don't get it or they don't want to get it. And I don't want, as I said in my first segment, maybe I don't want to to wake them up too drastically. So I try to tune my behavior, but it's hard. So I need people like you to calm me down. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. So so what is, uh, how do we do that? How the open patterns could be at the service of what could they be at the service of what I described in the first segment, Daniel? What's your thought on this, decentralized yeah. now? Yeah, so, I mean, just for context, right? I've been doing this organizational stuff since 2006, and many of us that are listening are, are the same. And, uh, you know, it touches on many different domains, um, you know, one, two, and three off from sociology and various forms of psychology, group psychology, individual psychology, organizational psychology. And we all have read many of the foundational authors and, and thinkers in this space, right? And what we're doing is we're working on organizations, but are we actually, <clears throat> are we majoring in the minors? Are we actually uh, inefficiently using our time uh, given the context of uh, human reality right now uh, across the world, right? So in my view, the, 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 the human social systems are approaching chaos. Almost everything that we've come to know, trust, uh, institutionally is breaking down and we're seeing things like uh, chaos in, in, in France, we're seeing things like, uh, you know, the whole uh, 